Last week, I shot an engagement session with the new Nikon Z6 II. It went great, I loved using the camera, but when I brought the photos back and I tried to open them up in Lightroom, in Preview, Photoshop, anything, nothing worked. And in today's video, I wanna show you what I found over the last eight days that actually allows me to edit the raw files from the Nikon Z6 II. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Liam Good. I'm a wedding photographer from Kitchener, Ontario, Canada, and I would love to have you subscribe if this video brings you any value. I'll be making a lot more Z62 content in the coming months, and would love for you to follow along. Okay, so let's get into how to actually do it. The program that I found is called Meta Image. You can Google it, you can type it into the App Store if you're on Mac. I believe there's a Windows download, I don't know for sure. So this might be a Mac only video, and uh, it might not be. Okay, so I'm just gonna read it off my screen. I did do this test earlier just to make sure that it was good, that it was the way I, I intended it to be uh, before making a video about it. Once you've got Meta Image open, you want to drag in your files, whether it's one file, whether it's, in my case, I, I shot 1600 photos. So then once all the images are loaded in and you've highlighted them, you wanna to go to camera model name and you'll see the section where it says Nikon Z6 underscore two. My neighbors are doing some construction right now. I hope I hope you can't hear it, but if you do, that's all it is. From here, you wanna click on camera model name and you'll see the section where it says Nikon Z space six underscore two. Uh, make sure you click on that. Then once you've done that, you can go over and click use preset action. After you've clicked that, you wanna hover down to the section that says use custom, sorry, I'm looking at my laptop here. Otherwise I cannot remember all these steps that I'm trying to say. So you wanna go over and click use custom text. Um, then in that space there, you want to take out Nikon Z6 II and you want to put in Nikon space Z space 6 and then click validate. Once that's been done, you'll see the camera model name change from Nikon Z6 Z6 II to just Nikon Z6 and the uh, color on the camera model name will actually change as well. Once that's done, you can go up to the save button and click save all edited files. Now, what's really cool, what I really liked about this program, this is my first time using it, but what I really liked about it is that it just goes through and changes all the images that are in the kind of source folder, the directory that you originally uh, selected. So I, it, the, the session was on my portable hard drive, so I selected it from there imported the photos, ran this process, and then it saved all the photos back. And I could actually watch them as it went through. It was kind of a slow process, but as it went through, I could actually watch them slowly click in and I could see the computer start to display the kind of preview images for each photo I shot, just like it would on a Nikon Z6 or any other camera that the computer recognizes the raw file from. Once this process was done, I dragged the folder into Lightroom just like I do for any other session uh, and ran my usual editing. And I, I edited a few photos and exported the JPEGs and they look great. They look like they're from any other camera, whether a Z6 or you know any camera that you're used to really. It doesn't look like there's any problem with them at all. So this looks like a great fix for the time being for Nikon Z6 II files. I know that everyone wants to be out using the camera, but it sucks to not have the full ability to edit the raw files yet, and at least for the time being. This, honestly, by the time I put this out, this video is probably already completely irrelevant, but I hope this is helpful for some people in the meantime. And again, my name is Liam Good. If you enjoyed this, if you got value from this video, I would love it if you subscribed, it would mean the world to me. And you'll see more Nikon Z6 II content from me in the future. See ya.